Well, we showed you that picture earlier and Norm Schimmel getting that uh, fog bank rolling in across the bay. Here's another one too. We've had several sent in, obviously, and this is another great shot from the North Bridge on Siesta looking right down toward downtown Sarasota. And this one coming in from Dana Joyner. Appreciate that shot. Again, confirming uh, the shots were not altered in any way. Those are actually legitimate photos. Norm really takes pride in never altering his shots. He always tells me that. Here's what the uh, rain is looking like right now. Along the east coast, uh, you can see a little frontal boundary now has, uh, for the most part, cleared north central Florida. And that fog that was around continues to slip down to the southeast. There's still some fog well to the north and west of us, but not a problem here. And I don't think it will be a problem again. Uh, as far as that goes, no watches and warnings. Those were from earlier. You can see that shower activity continue uh, to uh, bring some moderate rainfall down near Miami and places south thereof. Currently, uh, we're looking at clear skies, 68 degrees, so still rather warm. Uh, but the dew point is what's important. It's dropping. It's 61 degrees now, and winds have switched to the north. They had been out of the west all day, and that brought that warm, moist air over the relatively cooler waters of the Gulf of Mexico, creating that evection fog, or it's known as sea fog, rolling in, and it can be. Pretty dangerous for mariners, too. You can shut down uh, your visibility to almost zero very quickly, as you saw that bank kind of rolling on in across parts of Sarasota Bay today. 67 degrees was the low this morning. We'll be uh, above normal tomorrow, but still uh, not uh, too warm. We'll see lows in the upper 60s for the, I should say, upper 50s to low 60s. No rainfall to report today. It's been dry and looks like it will stay that way right through the weekend. There's so many activities going on with the boat parades and also the parade in downtown Sarasota looks to be okay. They got the big uh, fun run and walk on Sunday morning at Ed Smith Stadium for save, uh, uh, save Our Birth. Now, as far as the temperatures go, uh, 46 degrees now in Jacksonville. So you can see that cold front has already made it through there. 61 in Orlando, 61 in Sarasota, 76 warm in Key West now, and 38 degree dew point. These are dew point temperatures. The actual temperatures are reflective of that dew point now. 45 in Tallahassee, 49 in Jacksonville, still into the mid to upper 60s here in Orlando and Sarasota. 75 degree temperature now into Miami and a bit warmer in the Keys. And current temperatures, upper 60s to low 70s now across the region. The Gulf of Mexico water temperature now at 73 degrees. That's taken, by the way, at the end of the Venice Pier. Uh, hourly forecast tomorrow looks to be warm, although it will be drier. It will be noticeably drier as far as the humidity goes. We should see generally sunny skies throughout the day. No real threat of any fog tomorrow due to the fact that the atmosphere will be cooler and drier uh, as a result of that frontal passage. Not a lot going on over the southeast. Uh, we see quiet weather there. Finally, things have calmed down uh, since a couple of days ago. We had all that rough weather blowing up, but uh, for the time being, uh, fair skies over much of the panhandle of Florida and throughout central Florida. Temperatures are really starting to chill out now across the northern plains and throughout the Colorado Rockies. Now it's down to 24 degrees in Denver and 37 in Chicago, 35 in St. Louis. Well, for boaters, it shapes up to be a bit breezy tomorrow. Northeast winds at 10 to 15 knots and a moderate chop in the bays and inland waters. The water temperature again at 73 degrees. Tides upcoming on your screen here and looks like uh, the next high tide will be uh, coming up in not too long from now. And as far as the low tide goes, we are looking for a low tide at 855. The forecast shapes up like this, partly cloudy, some patchy fog mainly down to our south. And the extended forecast is calling for beautiful weather on Saturday and Sunday. And then a chance for showers comes after the weekend is over. And temperatures really start to chill out next week on Thursday with highs in the low 70s.